Today I'm making tomato pie. To start, I'm going to be using two medium to large sized tomatoes, and I'm going to slice them somewhere between an eighth to a quarter of an inch thick. I'm really not measuring and doing the things exact today. I'm, I'm going to be eyeballing a lot of things. Check the description below for the ingredients and measurements used. So I'm going to lay out my slices onto a towel lined with a paper towel, and I'm going to sprinkle salt you can sprinkle salt on both sides. I kind of just did one side and I'm going to let them sit here for about an hour to sweat and release moisture. Now for the pie crust, you definitely can use store-bought, but I'm going to make mine. Here I have one and a third cup of all-purpose flour. To that, I'm going to add some butter and actually I'm using a butter spread. I'm using about five tablespoons, but you can use salted butter to this. I'm going to mix that in with my hands and the butter is soft to work with, but it is still cold. I'm going to add two to three tablespoons of ice cold water and just mix it into the dough until it comes together. You should be able to sort of press it together just like this. So once your dough forms a ball, you'll want to start rolling it out. And typically a lot of people like to chill pie dough. I kind of was in a hurry today, so I skipped that step, but you could do that. So I'm just going to roll this out the best that I can. And I will be using an eight to nine inch uh, pie dish. Actually, I think this is eight inch and my other one is a nine inch, but it works in both sizes. So I'm going to flip that into my pie plate and I'm just going to take the parchment paper off carefully because remember I am sort of working with room temperature dough. It's not really cold at this point. So now I'm just going to fit it and fix it into this pie plate. And then I'm just going to roughly fold and crimp the edges using my fingers and knuckles. You can do what you like. Uh, mine's kind of rustic. <laughs> So I'm going to be blind baking this. I'm going to add parchment paper and some beans in here to weigh down the paper. And I'm going to blind bake this in a preheated oven at 450 degrees Fahrenheit for about 15 to 20 minutes. In the meantime, I'm going to get some fresh herbs from my garden. This is going to go into the mixture that goes into this pie. So at this point, my tomatoes are pretty much sweated out. You can see all of that moisture that's collected onto the towel. I'm just going to give them a firm press and at that this point it's ready to go into the pie. The reason why you do this is if you just add fresh tomatoes to the pie it'll make a soggy bottom to your pie so that's why you want to do that. So my pie crust is done. I'm going to let that just continue cooling. In the meantime I'm working with three quarters of a cup of mayonnaise I'm going to add that into the bowl. To that, I'm adding one cup of a cheese mix blend that I have. I had two types that I'm using. You could just use the cheese that you like, but here's what I'm using today. And I started with one cup here in the mixture. So now I'm just going to add an assortment of dried herbs and spices here, about a teaspoon and a half to two teaspoons of dried chives, my fresh oregano and basil from the garden, I'm gonna sprinkle in some dried thyme, dried parsley, and I'll also be adding some rosemary. Here I have a quarter teaspoon of garlic powder and onion powder, a quarter teaspoon each of those, some cracked black pepper, and I'm just gonna give that a mix. This is going to top the pie. So now I'm ready to assemble the pie. So I'm working with a completely cooled pie crust. I'm adding another cup of that shredded cheese. Now I'm going to add all of the tomatoes. I'm just going to add them right on top of the cheese. I will reserve one to sort of garnish the top of the pie. Now I'm going to add that cheese mixture that we made earlier with all of those dried herbs. By the way, if you don't have all of the herbs and spices that I added to mine, use what you've got. I think a typical ingredient for tomato pie is just one or two teaspoons of Italian seasoning. So if you have that, that works. So I'm going to spread that all over the top. And then that one tomato I reserved goes right in the middle. And I'm going to be baking this in a preheated oven at 350 degrees for about 35 to 40 minutes or until it's golden brown and bubbly on top, just like this. And you want to let it set for 15 minutes before serving. And that's it. You've got tomato pie. And it goes great with a side salad.
I hope you give this recipe a try. I hope you like it, and thanks for watching!